Si queremos comprender bien la naturaleza de la realidad, tenemos que darnos cuenta de que no son los mismos estes reptilianos de aquí que estes de aquí. Estes son las familias reales, por eso les vemos cambiando de forma. Aquí está la cara de humano, aquí el reptil, el ojo del reptil y el cuerpo del reptil. Estas son las familias reales, la genética que les permite manifestarse en esta realidad. La genética que tienen, el ADN, hace como de antena, como de TDT, si fuera una radio, capta la frecuencia de los reptilianos y se manifiestan en esta realidad. La historia es que no es lo mismo este que este. Why um, mind control someone to conduct these rituals? Uh, like yourself, um, why don't these uh, reptilians just conduct their own rituals? They don't seem to have the psychic abilities and they look for people that have that and people in the bloodline that have that. And I have had that, I've had a tremendous amount of psychic ability and so I was picked and bred from before birth and this is also something that other survivors that have been in high positions have known about me and told me. What's the connection then between you having psychic abilities, those being recognized um, from the start, and you being brought through to conduct their major rituals? Well, there's, it's kind of twofold. Um, first of all, they needed the psychic abilities because they control or attempt to control events because they, I would have the ability to foretell what was going to happen and they needed the information to just try to, to control it to the, an outcome that was good for them. The second thing is that during the rituals um, you had to have psychic ability, you have to be very powerful in that way to call out the old ones that are also reptilian that come from another dimension they actually de they materialize from out of another dimension and are present at rituals and they are so powerful and um, their their presence is is there's an such an evilness about them and they want out of this other dimension and they can't they they have to be called out by someone who has that power and the reptilians don't have this power that's that's very important that they don't have this power uh, to call out these uh, old ones that have to do with them and uh, what is it that, that humans have that the reptilians don't have that means they don't have the power to connect interdimensionally and, 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 and some humans do. We have the, the, we have the ability to foresee, to have, to be able to become vibrationally higher um, and see into those levels, go into those levels and um, in fact agencies use this, they call it remote viewing to go, that people, these uh, humans have the ability to go into the past, to go into the future, to go to other places, to astrally leave their body astrally um, and to see things that that it, uh, it, and we've always had this ability and in, um, it's like having the third eye which they don't have, they don't have this ability. So these, during a ritual, these old ones are called out um, and they are what Christianity would have called the demons. Uh, they are called out and they, there is a, there is a circle that is, it has a hexagon in, in there, which is a powerful occultic symbol, and then there is a um, pentagram, and then there, in the middle of that, there is a triangle, and if you're the one calling them out, 
and you stand in the in the uh, triangle so that you're not devoured or taken by these creatures that come out. That it creates an energy field around you which they right. can't penetrate. They yeah. can't penetrate it and, you, and they cannot get outside the pentagram. And they want out. They're always demanding to be let out. And so you have to be very powerful to keep them in line and to make them go back when it is time for them to go back. Why do the reptilians want to manifest these, these quote, demons um, at the rituals? It brings power to the rituals. It brings power to them. It, they are told things by these entities, and they are encouraged uh, to go on with what they're doing, and knowledge is imparted to them through these entities, um, but it takes a person with the ability to bring them out and make them answer, because they don't want to cooperate. They, they have to cooperate when the right person uh, has control over them. And that's to do with that person's um, energy and ability to use right. energy. Right, yes. You talked about the, the Aryan race coming from Mars. One expression of it seems to be very clearly what we call the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians had uh, two deities, uh, St. George, which became a British deity, um, who defeated the dragon, which seems incredibly symbolic. And also St. Michael, who, according to the legend, um, banished uh, Satan, or this negative force, into the abyss. Um, it, is this symbolism of the abyss anything to do with the fact that these uh, reptilian demons of another dimension are somehow locked in a time-space uh, prison and they can't get out and they can only get out when they're, they're brought out in that way? Yes, they want out of that dimension. They, are, they have been thrown into that dimension and they can't leave that dimension. And that's actually what the abyss is about, is being in a different dimension. It's... Um, it's like uh, something to do with the fourth dimension. And... Goya murió hace más de 200 años y fijaros cómo sabía todo. Todos los reptiles están bajo la pirámide. ¿Mm? Así os fijáis. Y al final comprender la naturaleza de la realidad es saber que es como las matemáticas. Si sumas 2 más 2 son 4. Pues vemos el sol, la constelación de la cruz, la luna. Y puso hábilmente los cinco dedos así, dejándolos atrás, los cinco sentidos, ¿sí? saliendo el sexto de la glándula pineal, boom, y salen los reptiles. Yo valoro muchísimo lo que hizo Goya. Dejó todo, todo en el cuadro. ¿sí? a pesar de que sabía que casi nadie le comprendería. Apenas ahora la gente sabe descodificar lo que hay en los cuadros. Imaginaos hace más de 200 años. Por eso en realidad no lo pudieron asesinar. Trató de asesinarlo en la Inquisición acusándolo por muchísimas cosas. Pero era imprescindible para la familia real, porque no había cámaras fotográficas de aquella ni cámaras de vídeo. Y la única forma de retratarse era con buenos retratistas, y Goya era el mejor. Así que su talento lo salvó. Debemos entender también que las familias reales realmente no son los reptiles. Todos somos multidimensionales. Ellos tienen un ADN que les permite manifestar a los reptilianos aquí en esta realidad holográfica de los cinco sentidos. Pero realmente son otro ser. ¿eh? Y cuando se manifiesta el reptiliano en esta realidad, ellos pasan a otro plano, a otra vibración.
Cutie see 